Hello and welcome to another Android tutorial. This is just going to be a quick little addendum to uh, tutorial number two actually. I had a request for some explanation as to the uh, imports and error functions. So let's go ahead and look up at the top of this. This is tutorial two. And you can see I commented out the uh, import for the intent. And that causes a little red X here and a couple of red underlines in Eclipse. that let you know that something's wrong. And typically, you don't actually need to manually monitor your imports. Uh, that's one of the good things about using Eclipse. The Android development environment is very good. Now let's see. I'm going to delete the uh, import entirely. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control shift o And hitting Control shift o basically has your uh, Eclipse will parse through the uh, project, through the class. It will look for all the... Uh, classes that you're using and try to find imports for them automatically. Uh, it's really good at this, so you actually don't need to uh, really oversee your imports, but just in case you were wondering, here are the six imports for tutorial number two. And once again, I'm going to just comment out, look, oh, no on-click listener method, uh, because we don't have one, this class cannot be resolved to a type. Oh, a little red error. So the first time, you, anytime you're doing some coding, the first time you see a little red X, the first thing you should always check is just hit Control Shift S. It'll uh, get your listeners back, or you, it'll it'll you hit Control Shift S, and it'll bring your imports back, and then you're good to go. Um, if that doesn't fix it, then you've actually got a problem in your code. But Control Shift O um, will. You see, there it goes. All right, well, that's it for now, and uh, I'll have another one for you soon.